Oh, hey. Hey! Hey, you guys. What's up? My name is Elala, if you don't know already. Today's video, we're going to be on our second episode of our Always Looking Pretty and Polished series. You done? I feel like I'm going to be adding a couple of more episodes to this series because I'm really starting to get interested in this series but today we're not going to be doing any makeup or anything like that we're not going to be touching our face i'm going to teach you how to do your own nails at home now if you have the money girl to get your nails done all the time do you i was once that girl but a girl gotta save a girl gotta be realistic they're raising the prices on everything and i'm an artist so i feel like i can do my nails um, I'm not gonna lie though, this was my first time filming this and it was my first time actually doing my nails. So I bought the kit and I immediately just started, well not immediately, but I bought the kit and then I decided to do my nails on camera. It was a bit of a flop, okay? I was a bit out of focus and out of frame, but I am gonna film it again. I just can't because I don't wanna damage my nails. These nails don't wanna come off. One nail did pop off yesterday because only because i was trying to take off this this really sticky sticker from a bottle and plus you're gonna see in the video this thumb i i got so many air bubbles and that's something that i feel like you have to work on that's the most frustrating hardest thing about gel x nails and also not getting any gel polish on your cuticles and those are things that i really have to work on um, but yeah, here's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. These are the nails right here These are the nails right here I did short squares because lately I've really been playing around with makeup and I want to practice um, Braiding my boyfriend's hair and I can't do it with long nails and just I don't know I just feel I could do more with short nails, but I'm kind of getting tired of these and I want to go back to my long nails I think I'm gonna do coffin next But yeah, everything that I use is gonna be down below. I got everything from Amazon So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial Like I said, I will be filming another one if you didn't enjoy this one because you know Just the whole blurriness and out of focus sometimes, but yeah I'll see you guys soon I pushed back my cuticles and applied some cuticle remover and cut them babies off. The cuticle remover is from Sally Hansen. I got it at Walgreens. My cuticle cutter, I got it at Walgreens. My pusher, you can get that in Walgreens as well or Beauty Supply, but I had that since... Um, I had that since beauty school so now i'm just filing my natural nail to just make it look nice and neat and tidy what i'm doing here is dehydrating my nails i didn't have um one of those dehydrators or nail primer so i'm just using alcohol and a tissue and i'm just gonna rub that all over my natural nail just so that the gel can have something to adhere to very well now these are the nails that i chose the link will be down below i got this whole entire kit and nail supply from Amazon. I got the square shape because I wanted to do short nails today. Um, I'm also using my beetle kit. This is the beetle gel and glue base. And I'm also using the little LED light. So you're gonna apply the nail glue, which is what I'm applying right now, on your natural nail. And then you're gonna cure it under the LED light for at least 15 seconds. And you're gonna repeat that for the rest of your other nails. I'm so, so, so sorry that it's so blurry. This is my first time filming a nail tutorial. This is my first time actually doing my nails, but I will make another video because this was really, really fun to do. It was so relaxing. Um, 
So you're just gonna apply that same nail glue on the fake nail and you're gonna do like a bead of glue towards the end. There's a whole bunch of videos on um, YouTube. I'll link some down below so you can see a, a more clear one if this one bothers you. But um, yeah, then you're gonna press the nail. Look, I'm having a really hard time right now. You're gonna press the nail. You're gonna hold the nail and put it under the LED light for at least five seconds and then that's when you can let go and just let the nail cure for like about 30 seconds. You wanna make sure that when you're pressing the nail that you don't have any air bubbles. This nail had so many air bubbles. Like this thing, I realize it's just gonna take time and practice, trial and error because this is a little difficult, but I still have my nails on. They haven't popped off. They're doing very, very well. <laughs> You're gonna repeat the process with all your other nails so just watch me apply the glue onto my natural nail cure it for 15 seconds apply the glue onto your fake nail apply that to your natural nail hold for five seconds let it go and let it sit under the uv light for 15 to 30 seconds longer so I really fucked up here um, if you have any like dust particles in your nails from filing and all that please don't use alcohol it's gonna turn your nails white the nail tips are clear and they became really really ugly so instead of just using alcohol to get rid of the powder just wash your hands this is the nail polish that I'll be using today. Oh my god, you didn't even see the color. I'll, I'll leave the link down below. But I came across these sheer nail polishes on Amazon and I completely fell in love and ordered it. And I love it. These are my types of colors. This is that nice, um, like sheer, pinky, milky color. Ugh, so obsessed with it. With every single coat, you're gonna stick your nail into the uv light so you want to make sure that those layers are all dry you don't want to apply three layers and then put your hand under the uv light it's just gonna take too long and that's damaging to the skin as well um as you can see i also applied my uv gloves i completely forgot about those that's to protect your skin from the uv light I'm coating all of my nails with that first layer of nail polish and then instead of the little UV light that I use I'm gonna use my bigger one that I bought from Suva I bought that one for my toes and for situations like this when I paint all of my nails and I don't have to cure them with a UV light one by one the the individual UV light for one nail is good for when you're applying your nail tip onto the nail So now I take my Suva light and I'm just going to do this repetitive motion, apply a layer of gel polish and cure my nails. Gel polish, cure my nails until I get the desired amount of gel polish and then we're going to move on to the design. This is another beetle polish in white. I got this one because I love white toes and I like white designs. So I'm just taking one of my eyeliner brushes my very thin brush and I'm gonna do a little design on my nail <laughs> all I'm doing right here is applying just filling in the little corner with the white kind of like a corner French tip <laughs> I 
couldn't do my nails without diamonds i love rhinestones diamonds i love all of that on my nails so that same nail glue that you applied on your natural nail i'm using that on a dotting tool and i'm just gonna pick up all the little gems that i bought from amazon and i'm just gonna stick them on so first i'm just applying the glue on the nail and then i'm gonna take out the gems and i'm just gonna stick the gems right on those glue dots you apply the white gel and then the nail glue so the rhinestones are gonna stick to the nail a lot easier now that's done you're gonna take your final step and you're gonna apply your top coat seal everything and then you're gonna apply it one more time under the UV light and then you're done you're gonna have to rub your nails with a bit of alcohol to get rid of the sticky residue and then this last time i like to do it for at least 60 seconds just to make sure that they don't pop off or that um, the gel doesn't chip or anything and then you're done Are the final results they're okay they don't look too bad <laughs> um this is my first time wearing short nails oh i'm just applying some drunk elephant marula oil um i didn't have any cuticle oil and the drunk elephant you can use it as cuticle oil face oil all that good stuff so i just grabbed that and used that it worked pretty good um but yeah it doesn't look too bad that's my first this is my first time wearing short nails i think after this set i'm gonna go for the longer nail and show you guys that because i really miss my long nails <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much um i will be making more nail videos because this was really fun but very challenging to film <laughs> but yes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying this series leave a beautiful positive comment down below and i'll see you guys soon